from sequels which were just announced for realsies this time, to those which have already started filming or at least have their shooting dates set in stone. Now it's just the small matter of these movie sequels actually living up to all that hype. So I'm Gareth, this is What Culture, and here are 10 movie sequels that are finally happening. Number 10, 28 Years Later. Despite releasing over 20 years ago, Danny Boyle's post-apocalyptic horror Do Not Call It A Zombie Film, 28 Days Later has remained a much-loved fave among genre fans, and sequel 28 Weeks Later was also a bit of a pleasant surprise. Given their solid box office success, and the latter's sequel-baiting ending, it seemed like a given that 28 months later would soon enough materialise. For a myriad of reasons, it never came together. Until now! At the start of the year, Boyle and Garland confirmed that they're actively developing a sequel, which also comes with a part two now called 28 Years Later. Boyle will direct while Garland will write, with the budget said to be around $60 million for each flick. A major leap from the prior film's more modest budgets of $8 million and $15 million, respectively. Though no story details are yet known, the title suggests it'll pick up almost three decades after the original film, with the rage virus continuing to ravage the globe. And original star Killian Murphy even recently expressed interest in reprising his protagonist role from the first film. So here's hoping Boyle and Garland make it happen. Number 9, The Karate Kid 6. It can't be understated just how impressively TV series Cobra Kai has resurrected the Karate Kid franchise from the doldrums, simultaneously injecting it with some youthful energy, while meaningfully circling back to the original characters. The series' last big screen foray, however, was 2010's Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan starring remake, which against considerable skepticism actually turned out to be not too bad. And yet despite grossing a staggering $359.1 million worldwide, almost 10 times its budget, a direct sequel never happened. But last November, Sony finally announced that a new film was on the way, a sequel which will star both Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan, seemingly bringing the two strands of the Karate Kid franchise into harmony. Jonathan Entwistle of The End of the Ethan World will direct a script from Rob Leiber of Peter Rabbit, with the story set to follow a Chinese teen moving to the east coast of the US, where they begin studying martial arts. A worldwide casting call is currently out for the new lead, with shooting set to begin this coming spring, and the current release date somewhat optimistically penciled in for December 13th of this year. Now I want to know what is your favourite Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai moment? You let me know in the comments section down below. Number 8, They Follow Shortly following the critical and commercial success of David Robert Mitchell's ingeniously premised horror film It Follows, distributor Radius TWC talked up the prospect of a sequel, which delves deeper into the origins of the titular supernatural entity. However, given that the follow-up gained little to no traction in the years that followed, despite the low-risk nature of the project, it seemed probable that filmmaker Mitchell simply couldn't crack a compelling idea for the sequel. But last October, They Follow was unexpectedly announced, with Mitchell set to return as writer-director, while lead actress Micah Monroe will also be back in the role of Jay. Shooting is tentatively penciled in for later this year. Hopefully, They Follow avoids the typical horror sequel trap of over-explaining its central phenomenon, though. Number 7, Heat 2 when it comes to movies that absolutely do not need sequels, Michael Mann's Heat is perhaps right at the top of the pack. But that all changed when Mann announced that he was co-writing a novel follow-up. Heat 2 was finally released in 2022, and functioned as both a prequel leading into the events of the original movie, and a sequel which moves past it, splitting itself between timelines in 1988 and 2000. And last year, Mann confirmed that an adaptation of Heat 2 would be his next film after Ferrari, with Adam Driver possibly playing a young version of Robert De Niro's character Neil McCauley from the original movie. Though a Heat sequel might seem flagrantly unnecessary, it's worth noting that the novel received rave reviews from critics and fans alike upon release. So it just might give man the storming return to form his fans have been craving for years. Fingers crossed, eh? Number 6, Spinal Tap 2. This is Spinal Tap is one of the most beloved comedies of all time. A hilarious mockumentary about the titular fictional heavy metal band, which has endured as a cultural monolith for four entire decades. In May 2022, director Rob Reiner announced that he was developing a sequel which would bring back cast members Christopher Guest, 
Michael McKean, and Harry Shearer. Though given the 40-year gap since the first film, and the ages of all involved, many never believed it would actually get made. But last November, Reiner revealed that Spinal Tap 2 is set to begin filming this February. And better yet, it's gonna feature roles for real-life musicians Paul McCartney, Elton John, and Garth Brooks. The sequel will reportedly function as something of a parody of Martin Scorsese's 1978 concert film The Last Waltz, chronicling Spinal Tap's farewell tour in the present day. Thank you very much for watching this What Culture video today, and hit that subscribe button for more of this sort of wonderful stuff. Number 5. Final Destination 6 Bloodlines Given the success of the first five Final Destination movies, it's genuinely surprising that New Line Cinema has sat on this IP for almost 15 years without releasing a new entry. A sixth Final Destination has certainly been talked about for many years now, but the various developmental updates didn't offer concrete confirmation that it was actually happening. However, in September 2022, filmmakers Zach Lipovsky and Adam B. Stein of Freaks were signed to direct a script co-written by Guy Busick of Ready or Not, Scream and Scream 6. Last year, the new movie's title was officially announced to be Final Destination 6 Bloodlines. While Tony Todd, who has played creepy mortician William Bloodworth throughout the franchise, was confirmed to be returning too. Shooting was originally set to begin at the start of 2024, though last year's sag after strike ended up pushing production back. It was recently announced that filming will begin on March 4th through to May 13th ensuring that fans should have a new Final Destination movie to savor by early 2025. Number 4. Cliffhanger 2 Sylvester Stallone's Cliffhanger was a major commercial success in 1993, so it seemed a sure given that Stallone, never a man to shy away from a sequel, would get a second film into production in short order. Though Cliffhanger 2 began development in 1994, it went through various iterations over the decades that followed including both a direct sequel and a soft reboot focused on a younger cast. Then, last May, saw Cliffhanger 2 re-announced as a legacy sequel, starring Stallone and set to be directed by Jean-Francois Richet, with the new film taking Sly's protagonist Gabe Walker to the Italian Alps. Much as many assumed that the now 77-year-old Stallone had surely aged out of such a physical project, the plot will reportedly see Gabe taken hostage, requiring his daughter to use her climbing skills to subdue the kidnappers. The production received 2 million euros in funding from a German production fund late last year, so it's safe to say that Cliffhanger 2 is actually finally coming to fruition. Number 3. Lords of War Andrew Nichols' 2005 crime drama Lord of War is a terrifically entertaining piece of work, enlivened by riveting performances from Nicolas Cage and Jared Leto. Yet the film, revolving around Cage's international arms dealer Yuri Orlov didn't necessarily beg for a sequel, despite Cage and others associated with the production talking up a second movie throughout the years. However, it was confirmed in May that Lords of War is indeed happening, a sequel which will bring back Cage in the role of Yuri, while Bill Skarsgård will co-star as his son Anton, who wishes to surpass his father, and Andrew Nichol will return as writer-director. Given Nicolas Cage's major career resurgence in recent years, this looks like it could add yet another compelling left-field project to his massive body of work. Number 2. Tron Ares Disney has been so hot and cold about the prospect of a third Tron movie over the years, that many assumed it was simply inextricably trapped in development hell. The House of Mouse originally greenlit a direct sequel to Legacy in 2015, though a few months later the studio changed their minds following the box office failure of Tomorrowland, feeling that Tron 3 was too risky a project. A reworked version of the threequel entitled Tron Ares was announced in 2017, with Jared Leto set to star but development continued to stall in the years after. Then, to the surprise of just about everyone, the sequel finally began shooting in mid-January, with Joaquin Ronning of Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales directing a cast including Leto, Evan Peters, Greta Lee, Jodie Turner-Smith, Cameron Monaghan, and Gillian Anderson. While it's a shame that Ares won't be a direct sequel to Legacy, simply being back in this gorgeous world will hopefully be a sheer delight. Number 1. Den of Thieves 2 Pantera There are literally dozens of us who thoroughly enjoy 2018's Den of Thieves. There are literally dozens of folks who thoroughly enjoy 2018's Den of Thieves as the trashier riff on Michael Mann's heat that it so unashamedly was. And though the film turned a modest profit at the box office, netting $80 million against a shrewd $30 million budget, while concluding on quite the tantalizing sequel tease, development of a sequel proved strangely sluggish in the years that followed. Shortly after the first movie's release, Gerard Butler and O'Shea 
Jay Jackson Jr. were announced to be returning, alongside filmmaker Christian Goodegas for Den of Thieves 2 Pantera. But after the better part of five years without much significant forward motion, it felt like the sequel was just never going to happen. Catching us all off guard, this follow-up was actually quietly shot last summer, and so patient fans likely don't have long to wait to see the heist action sequel for themselves. Watch this space.